welcome back to a new vlog. It is Wednesday today and I thought it'd be a fun video idea to do a what I spend in a week. Bali is known as this place where your money goes really far. I think it draws a lot of tourists here. You're able to afford things that you normally wouldn't be able to afford. And for Luke and I, we like it because our money goes very far. You can come to Bali and like really do it so cheap. But Luke and I, we are a little bit more of, we're more of a luxurious traveling couple. So we like things a little bit elevated. We're not really doing Bali on a budget. We're doing Bali luxury edition. So I'm curious to see how much we actually spend. And I want to show you guys like exactly how much everything costs that I'm doing. How much our villa costs, how much we're spending on food, our gyms and fitness classes. Because everything, like I said, is a really good price and you get a lot for your money. Luke and I have been very impressed so far with our experience. So yeah, I just want to share with you guys. If you're thinking about coming to Bali, this will give you a good idea of how much things cost. So I'll just take you guys along with me for a week and just literally share with you every single dollar I spend. Oh, by the way, I'm in a new villa from my last vlog. It's gorgeous and it's three bedrooms which is perfect for Luke and I, which sounds a bit bougie, but he likes to have his own office and then we like to have a sleeping room and then I like to have my own kind of space. So we usually end up getting a three bedroom and this one is perfect. We love staying in, in houses and Airbnbs rather than hotels, just because like I said, we have more space and I have a kitchen, I can cook if I want. We like to be able to feel comfortable in our home. Good thing, because I have so much shit to do today. Is this the ginger ale? Yeah. Babe, that tastes like shit. I like it. I'm doing a what I spend in a week in Bali. Nice. How much I spend with things that involve both of us. Like, for example, this villa. How much is it for one? I don't know. I was going to ask you. I think it's like a thousand for a week. It might be more than that. I just got Luke's meal prep, which we've kind of been sharing a little bit. And so we get meals delivered every week for him. They're like super healthy, high protein, all that. It comes out to $29 a day. And then each morning we get the meal preps delivered fresh and the delivery cost is $1.40, $1.40 per day. And I've been going to Pilates every day at this place. I have it booked today. So I need to get ready for that. My class is at 11 and it's 8.40. I don't know if I've told you guys about these before, but they are little hat strips that are sticky and they're disposable and you put them inside the lining of your hat to like absorb sweat and just basically like keep your hat clean. I use these all the time because I'm always going for walks, long walks, and I feel like I sweat so much in my hats and this keeps them. place called salt they have really nice skincare i got a specific face wash that doesn't have core cloggers in it all natural it came out to 22 dollars and 84 cents from Pilates. My class was so amazing. I love that place. I bought a pack of the Pilates classes. I bought like a pack of 16 so that I can go every weekday for the rest of our time here. I also picked up my laundry, like one load of laundry, and all this laundry came out to $2.53. 
to for a laundry service. Wash, dry, and fold it for me. It also saves me so much time because I'm not doing it myself, and you guys know how time-consuming laundry is. And then I also stopped at the store. I got some cashew milk, some coconut water, and some bone broth, and all of this came out to $10. When I walk to Pilates, it's like a 30 minute walk and I pass through so many shops and stuff So I always stop shop, stop into stores and pick up a few things It would be interesting to also do a, what I spend in a week in Puerto Rico because my life here is so different from how it is at home But I'm gonna put this stuff away and I'm gonna I'm gonna have some lunch I'm gonna have some meal prep some of Luke's meal prep for lunch. I'm so hungry Luke just got home from the camera store and he said, I have a present for you. Because I've been wanting a G7X. My current camera is so big, so I don't always want to carry it around with me. And he got a Sony ZV, ZV1. ZV1. Apparently, it's better than the G7X. I'm understanding why now. It's, like, so small. It's so cute. He also got us a new tripod. This is a charger for the camera, babe. And then you also got 120 gigabyte. So what was the total, babe? Like 700 cheaper than if you buy it in the States. Yeah, that sounds cheaper because I was looking at this camera on Amazon and it's like $750 or something. Yeah, just by itself. So Luke's been filming a lot of content lately. So we've kind of been sharing this camera I'm using right now, like a lot. So we're just like really growing our content creation collection here. Who knows, I might, I might vlog too. We can't have two vloggers in this house. We'd both just be vlogging the whole time, everything and it, that would get annoying. I'm already annoyed. Are you annoyed by me vlogging? Well, if you really were, you wouldn't have bought me a new vlogging camera so I can vlog even more than I already have. This is going to allow me to vlog more because I'm going to be able to take this to places where I wouldn't bring this big camera. It's so big. I feel like I'm going to start vlogging on this more than the big guy. Just because we travel so much. I mean, when I'm in Puerto Rico at home, this is this big camera is great. You know, I'm just I'm just carrying it from one room to the next. But when we're like traveling, out doing, mm -hmm. out doing stuff, I feel like this little one will be perfect. That's a great deal. Well, good thing we bought it here because mm -hmm. I was totally gonna buy this when we get we got back to the states. See, this is the one I was looking at. Right? Babe, that white camera is so ugly. I think it's so cute. What do you guys think? I because I was gonna get this white one. It's the same camera, but obviously. Luke Babe, you don't see any YouTubers with a white camera. I know, because everyone has the G7X. No one even has this camera, babe. Babe, everybody has that Zen view. Okay, maybe in your content creation world, but in girly girl content creation world, everyone has a G7X. Babe. I trust I trust you, babe. I trust your content creation opinion, expertise. So why are you vlogging? Why am I vlogging? My favorite part of vlogging is it really allows me to capture our unique life in and romanticize it. Yeah, in a way. But like what's the purpose? Like to look back on in the future? Memory yeah, to look back on it. Personal fulfillment. Who the fuck is that? Good morning guys. I just woke up. Made my skincare really fast and then I ordered some celery juice. I order this first thing in the morning because I like to have it first thing in my stomach. I used to be really big into celery juice when I lived in California because it was so easy. They have it everywhere. It's so easy to just go pick it up from Whole Foods or literally like so many juice places have it. Now that I live in Puerto Rico most of the year, it's so much harder to get celery juice. I have to make it myself which is just so time consuming. So I kind of got out of the habit of that. But now that we're in Bali, it's so easy to just get a liter of celery juice delivered. So I get a liter delivered and then it lasts like three days and then I get a fresh one. So this morning I got a fresh one. It came out to $9.80 for a liter, which is really good. That's like $3 a serving, which is like way cheaper than anywhere I've ever paid for it in California. Cheers, I'm sipping on this and I have to take it with my probiotics from Seed. I'm recording a podcast with Cass this morning in a couple hours and I woke up so hungry because I ate dinner last night at like 5 p.m. and it's like 8 a.m. right now so I'm pretty hungry. I'm gonna probably have some breakfast once I finish my celery juice. <laughs> I just went to this little cafe warehouse and got 
Luke latte because the guy who delivered the celery juice this morning like rang our doorbell like so many times. It was really annoying. It woke up Luke like prematurely and he has to stay up so late to work that night. So I felt bad that the delivery driver will come up. So I offered to go get him a latte and that really made him happy. So he's sipping that in bed. And since I was at the cafe, I bought myself a little, little matcha and both together were $5.75 for a latte and a matcha. There's been a change of plans because Cass actually isn't feeling well, so we're not gonna record this morning. So I'm gonna go to Pilates instead, which is what I would have done if we weren't recording. And luckily there's still spots available in the Pilates class. The class only has eight reformers, so. big excursion of the day I was telling you guys yesterday that my Pilates class is like a 30 minute walk away and it's kind of in like central Chengdu so whenever I'm over there I'll like stop in the shops and just kind of like make it a whole outing and today my goal was to find a new face moisturizer because the one that I bought like three weeks ago here has beeswax in it which apparently is comeogenic meaning like it calls your pores which would explain why I literally have been getting the worst blackheads and breakouts lately. I'm hoping it's from that and that me just switching my moisturizer will help clear my skin because my skin has been really weird since I've been here. It's like, like I've always kind of struggled with skin, but it's like different this time. So I was trying to do some research, figuring out what it was and it turns out that beeswax is comeogenic. It's like skeptical. Some people say it is, some people say it's not. I found a moisturizer that Apparently is all good ingredients. I like checked it on two pore clogging websites because I'm like, you just can never be too careful with what you're putting on your skin when you're as when you struggle with acne as much as I do. I stopped at the pharmacy and I got this Hydra Rose Moisture Rich Night Gel. I also got this bio oil for my body because I ran out of body oil. And the total at the at the pharmacy was twenty dollars and I just ordered some things for delivery because Luke needed an extension cord so I bought some paper towels also and some batteries for recording my podcast and a bunch of ice. All of that plus the delivery came out to $8.50. I just did my makeup because Luke and I were supposed to film an interview for him for his like social media channels but he decided to go to the gym instead he hasn't worked out in so long so he's been sick and today he's finally better so he is going to prioritize that so we're not doing the interview anymore so i think we're just going to go for like a little dinner date night tonight since i'm like all glammed up now i made some oat bars i made these when luke had food poisoning because i like was reading that oatmeal and apples were good for food poisoning. So he loved them so much and he just finished them so I made another batch. But this time I made a banana version instead of an apple version. They look so yummy. I'm gonna cut them up. I haven't been able to bake in so long because our last place didn't have an oven. But we have an oven here. It's like a tiny little oven. But these were so easy and I'll put the recipe on the screen for you guys if you want to try them. Definitely like fall vibes because they have cinnamon and ginger in them. Got my new camera out tonight. This is my little outfit for the night. Luke and I just sat down at this restaurant called Art. I'm vlogging on my new camera. It feels so different. 
Our food just came. I got, I like made my own salad with like watermelon and arugula. And then we got this pizza for the meat lovers and, and a grilled chicken sandwich. So good. How did they make this so fast? They made this all of this so fast. so good to acquire new hobbies as you get older it like brings life back into you 2024 bucket list is we're gonna go surfing together i'm not surprised at all <laughs> this sounds like aquamarine or, or blue crush this is tea <laughs> I haven't talked to you yet today, but I just got my nails done and they look so good. It was only like $17, but I actually didn't get acrylics. They are just my natural nails. And then I got just gel over them, but she shaped them into like almond shape. I feel like they look so nice and simple. of trying to find some like walking shoes some like trainers some cute like white trainers to wear because I walk so much and I'm just wearing sandals and it's kind of tearing at my feet but I didn't find any sneaker stores today what I did find was a thrift store which I'm such a sucker for and this one was actually a vintage store the difference between thrift and vintage is a vintage is kind of like the middleman. The vintage people go to the thrift shops, find all the best stuff, and then slightly mark up the price a bit and then sell it to you. So they kind of do the hard work for you. Usually vintage shops have a lot better stuff. I also love thrifting because I do have the patience to like look, really look through everything. I found some really cool stuff. I got this oversized quarter zip periwinkle. It's even got this little patch on it with like an anchor and some boats really giving east coast grandmother and i love it so much i love wearing sweatshirts inside when there's ac and stuff i feel like i'll wear this all the time i'll wear this in the winter i'll wear it in puerto rico inside this is a win this was 23 dollars. this is like a very grandma vibe too i love some good grandma pieces like it just makes me feel so wholesome and cozy to wear this t-shirt the special part is that it's got these like jewels i'm totally gonna wear this as pjs i love wearing oversized shirts to P as pjs this t-shirt was 21 dollars 76 i also got a little silk nightgown and i'm such a slip nightgown girl i wear them all the time i even wore one to dinner last night like i'll wear them out and I wear them around the house. I wear them to sleep. I feel like I can never have too much slip dresses. They're just so comfy and like classy and you feel like a princess in them. So I found this one and the color just made me so happy. I feel like it looks good on my skin tone. And this was $30. I don't know, I'm happy with my, my little vintage haul. It always feels special to find something at a thrift shop. It like feels like it's just meant for you. So I just got home. It's 4 p.m. and Luke wants me to help him film something at 5 p.m. So I'm gonna start like doing my makeup for that. Maybe have a little snack. So good, babe. Mm -hmm. I normally don't like sorbet, but chocolate sorbet. I've never heard of that. Can I try? Yeah. There's good. no dairy. Yeah. It's a little bit later. Luke and I went out to ice cream, and then I did my skincare, and I realized I ran out of pimple patches, so I just 
ordered a grab order from the pharmacy, which came out to $7.90. Earlier today, I ordered some batteries so that I can finish recording my podcast. That was $5.90. I literally ordered so many things today. Luke's meal prep just got here. We have food. And Patty. I haven't really been vlogging today, but I went out on a little walk. I didn't do Pilates today, but I went for a little walk while Luke was at the gym to pick up our laundry and <laughs> stop at the market. I got some tempeh, a cucumber, a few carrots, some bananas, and avocado, tofu, and a pineapple. I was reading that tempeh and tofu are supposed to be good for hormone imbalances because definitely dealing with some acne breakouts on my chin, which is super related to hormones. And so I was reading up on it and I think my estrogen levels are imbalanced. So I'm gonna try to eat some more soy products. The key is to have non processed soy so tempeh and tofu will be perfect source of protein for me i also got some jackfruit chips which are so good if you ever see those at the store please try them for all of this it was about six dollars and eighty cents for my little grocery haul and then i also stopped at the juice place to pick up some celery juice for tomorrow and i got luke a little coconut water and that came out to five dollars and twenty cents i picked up our laundry it was like two loads that i had to pick up and it was four dollars and fifty cents for both loads of laundry well they packaged it in a tin foil look and i ordered a froyo from our favorite place they gave me an so many Oreos. I thought they usually give you a lot more than that. Yeah, they usually give me like a big bucket. This is how you make the best grow. I got a little mini size. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, mine's gonna be so good. I got chocolate sauce to put on it. Mm -hmm. I got these little chocolate malt balls. I'm also gonna add some flax seeds because I'm a healthy girl. Making the frozen yogurt healthy. Well, yeah. I think flax seeds would be good with mine. Yeah, flax seeds are good for digestion too. That is my little ice cream creation. Luke and I are gonna go watch a movie and be chill because he's honestly still not feeling good. Well, our goal right now is just to like feel good and Luke is not feeling good. So kind of means we're just gonna chill until he feels better as we should. I'm always down for a night in. just sat down at a little brunch spot for, it's called Honey, Honey. Sunday it's morning. We're just gonna get some breakfast and coffee. I don't really know what I wanna eat. <laughs> Look at their cherry. People here are like obsessed with kites. What is that about? So obsessed. It must be like a religious thing or something. This matcha looks amazing. It's got house made. Almond milk, what? and we just got a classic latte. Ah, right, sunny side up. Got an apple cider vinegar shot. Okay, so it's here at So good. They actually made that taste really good. They probably put honey in it. It's a massive fruit plate. Really generous with it. Uh -huh. I brought this really cool star called Duca. I bought a Christmas present. I can't share what it is because, I mean, I don't think any, actually any of my family watches my vlog, but just in case, we're not gonna show what I just bought, but it's really cool. And 
and I want to buy like a lot of Christmas presents while I'm here in Bali because like there's just so many unique gifts here. It was $76.80. This mirror's actually sick. Whoa, we got a mirror. Luke and I did a bit of shopping this afternoon and we ordered some lunch to get here when we got home and it just got here. Luke's picking it up right now. I made myself a little rice cake with some smashed avocado and some over easy eggs on top for lunch. And then I think Luke ordered like a chicken egg bowl from Protein Island, which is the same place we ordered from in the last vlog. If you watched that, it's like our favorite. He's not gonna spill the coffee today. Last week he, he was so excited about the latte that he spilt it on the floor, which was so sad. I got like a little BCA drink. Looks like a good little dish. Mm-hmm. And I just sat down at this place called Woods. Woods. I wonder why it's called Woods. Oh, I guess it is. It does have a lot of wood in it. Feels like we're in a tree house. It's so small you can't even see it on the camera. <laughs> Thank you. They have a massive tea menu here and I got Whoa. an apple flower tea just to help with acne and we've got a peach flower tea. That's super bitter. Do you need some sweetener? I need some honey. Thank you. So we each got a green salad. We've got, what is that made of sirloin? This is top sirloin Angus. That's a whole lot of steak. You can taste these are homemade. celery juice delivery and it's so good today. My skin is actually starting to look better today, which is the first day I've felt like that in a while. Usually I wake up with like a bunch of new pimples on my face. Today, I didn't. Today I didn't. They're actually healing and my face has looked better than it has in a while. I started using that new moisturizer that I told you about so that I'm not breaking up. So I think that I have no more communogenic products in my skincare right now. I've been using these Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Universal Daily Peel. I've been using them every night. I've heard great things about these and they sent me these and I just started using them like a week ago. I actually feel like it's really helping clear my skin up. So I'm excited about these. I hope that they continue to improve my skin. Yeah, they're really amazing because they give you a, a light chemical peel basically every time you use them. Exfoliating your skin a little bit, but not too harshly because it's meant to be used every day. So if those continue to work, I'm gonna keep using them. The whole pack is like 30. So after I do it for a month and I like my skin better, I'll probably stay on those. And then I do some, obviously do my mask every day, my LED mask, which I've actually been doing for so long, almost like two years now. It's like holding up pretty strong. I don't think they sell it anymore because people always ask me where I get it and I can't find it on the website anymore. You can get it on Amazon. I have it linked on my storefront if you are interested in trying to find one. But it's definitely the best LED device I've ever used because I've tried like cheaper ones and they just like do not work as well. 
And then I do this vitamin C serum. I've been using this for a while now also. Really one of my favorite vitamin C serums. And then I just do a simple eye cream. This Mario Badescu Brightening Eye Serum is like just a super simple one. Sometimes I don't even use eye cream. I'll just like do more moisturizer over my eyes. And then I'll set my vitamin C serum with J. Roll. My sunscreen is also a moisturizer, so I'm just going to do like a two-in-one and use my sunscreen as my moisturizer because I don't like to put too much on my face to let my skin breathe. At night, I'll go in with my actual moisturizer, but in the mornings, I've just been doing this SPF because I go for my long walk and I sweat so much, so I just like to keep it light. And then I use this lip scrub from Lush. It's made with sugar and you're supposed to lick it off your lips after it tastes so good. An SPF lip balm. I'm actually starting to get the craziest short tan line. You guys can't see them, but I'm walking in my like little biker shorts every day. The same thing happens to me in Puerto Rico. I don't know why. I'm in like a pretty good mood this morning. Usually I wake up, I've kind of been down lately, but today, Today is good. It's because I have Pilates planned. Anytime I have like a set plan for my day, I feel like I wake up more excited. Making the breakfast that I've pretty much been making for the past bit. And I'll show you guys because it's very simple high protein, mash up half an avocado, and then do two hard boiled eggs. I literally just chop it, add it to the mashed avocado, and then you put some salt and pepper in here and you just mix it all. And you take two rice cakes, add your egg mixture on top of the rice cakes. Just sat down and almost while I'm about to get my brows lighted and they always give little cookies and ginger tea. I just got home from my big daily outing and I stopped at the little my favorite little market on the way home and got some eggs. Some these eggs are looking so free range, organic, fresh from the chicken. More rice cakes because I just had my last ones this morning. Some coconut water. I drank a little bit of it because I was so thirsty. And I was carrying so many bags. I actually looked ridiculous. And then I got this kefir water that's so good. It has ginger in it. Bone broth. I love to get the bone, get bone broth and then add ground cinnamon and ground ginger on the stove. Makes it such a nice treat. I got some protein powder. This one is so clean. I've had it before. Figured I would use it to make my little oatmeal bars. And maybe I'm going to make a protein shake right now. And then I got some apples. These local apples are so good. They're like so crisp and crunchy. I got a snake fruit. Which is like actually the craziest fruit ever. It looks like... A literal snake it's got like reptile skin but the inside is really good and I got another avocado to keep making my hard-boiled egg breakfast that I've been liking. Look and I just ordered some dinner. I'm using the third camera. We actually have both of my vlog cameras set up right now because we're about to film an interview for Luke. What are we going to talk about? I have some questions prepared. Oh, different ones? Yeah. Are they ones I've never answered before? So I'm filming on my phone right now. Um, I tried to do 
questions that I don't know what you would say the answer to. Like some, so there's some question on there that I like know what you would say. It's literally so smoky outside because the rice farmers do this thing where they like burn down the rice field. I think after they cultivate the rice, I'm not sure exactly, but there's just these constant like fires and all this smoke around Bali that we've noticed. And there's a rice field right there. I mean, there's so many rice fields in Chenggu. So we just randomly get these like smoke plumes. Whoa, this looks crazy. We started a new meal prep. This, this looks better. This one's from Motion Fit, which is like one of Luke's favorite restaurants. They're giving us bone broth. Look at they have these little toppings. This is dinner. Whoa. That looks good. We got like a 3,000 calorie meal plan for Luke. Or is it like 3,500? There's no way this is like over 3,000 calories. What do you mean those meals are huge, Ben? How good is that? Wow. obsessed I literally just went to the same place I went yesterday for my eyebrows and I really love that place because it's like the little things they first of all it's really good pricing my eyebrows were like $20 and this haircut was only $30 with a wash and blow dry they give you ginger tea and banana chips which is just the key to my heart honestly like I'm a sucker for both of those things yeah I mean the Indonesian like service is just always so good in general it's good like part of their culture so i just feel really taken care of there like yesterday during my brow appointment they were giving me a massage if you guys have never gotten brow lamination before it's like a 30 minute process they have to put like some glue on for like 15 minutes and then you you just sit there for 15 minutes and then they take it off and they put the perm solution and then you wait another 15 minutes so it's like you're pretty much just sitting there for 30 minutes but they gave me a massage during my whole time I was waiting. Like, they just go above and beyond. So I really like that place. It's possible that most spas here could be as good as that, but I don't know, I just loved it so much. And when I asked for the price of the haircut and if they had availability, they had so much availability and it just seemed like such a good price. So I just sent it and got a little haircut. That's the update. I stopped at my favorite little market on the way home. I kind of love just doing like little mini grocery shops every day instead of like doing huge ones because I never liked having too much food in the house because I hate wasting food and I just want to be flexible be able to go out to dinner and stuff with Luke. I'm gonna make a little smoothie right now because I'm so hungry. Yeah, I, need, I just need to eat. I'm so hot from my walk. It's literally so hot in Bali, guys. Like, I'm not a sweater and I am sweating on my walks. I'm sweating in my Pilates class, like, my only option is for outfits is to literally wear the tiniest workout set and I'm still sweating so much. So I just need to cool down in the AC, have a smoothie, recenter myself. So refreshing. I did pineapple, water, ice, protein powder, and ginger. It's a bit later and I got some dinner delivered. Don't really have any food here and Luke's has his meal prep so I just ordered myself a salad and some salmon. It was like $17 for all of this so I'm hoping the portions are big at least. But I ordered from one of my favorite spots. It's called Cafe Vita and I ordered something I've never tried before. A giant salad and a salmon filet. So I'm gonna plate this all nice and then have some dinner with Luke. 